Hi, I'm Alicia and I'm the Deputy Stage Manager for this year's school production, Billy Elliot. Once we Okay, let's take it back to July where we found out what the show was going to be. The next production at Wingwood School will be... Billy Elliot! <laughs> September that year we considered what roles each crew member would carry out and each wrote formal application letters to the producer to apply for that role. At the end of September, I found out I was the stage manager for this year's school production and instantly began carrying out my role after hearing this news. We each started out by fully annotating our scripts and noting down all the specific aspects we would need to be made aware of for each department. This was very useful for me as it highlighted the vast amount of props and set needed. I learnt very quickly it was a prop heavy show. I then went on to creating a draft props table using the information found in the script and had a meeting with a director about specific designs of these props. Then I allocated them to be researched amongst my stage management team evenly to be more efficient. Each week we were required to attend a production meeting which consisted of talking to each department and their progress. It was also a way of organising meetings for the rest of the week between each of these departments. The first week was more discussing the visuals of the stage for everyone to try and work around. Then as the weeks went by the notes got smaller and smaller and issues had been resolved and sorted. It was then my job to forward these notes to the people who weren't able to attend the meetings. In October we were given our first rehearsal schedule, this was when I found out which rehearsals I was required to go to. In each of the rehearsals I noted down all the blocking on paper, then typed them up in neat so that I had electronic copies as well. These I then could go through of each of the different departments to help them with their designing stages. Notes such as new props, costume and lighting designs etc, which were mentioned here, I would pass on to the correct department to then make progress with. In larger rehearsals with a full cast, I was required before the rehearsal to mark out the floor of the stage size, as the official stage was not safe for rehearsals to be carried out on. I took a trip to a local props and costume hiring warehouse, RMDS, in order to get some ideas of what we could potentially borrow from them if we needed to later on. However, costume ended up being the only department borrowing from it. I then continued to attend rehearsals and noting down the blocking. I also created stage layouts of the blocking on paper and on the computer for more visual perspective. The majority of props were borrowed or bought if they were cheap in order to keep the budget low. However, I was required to create and construct some of the props. For example, I created some placards which involved drawing, painting, sawing, designing and drilling. And a hobby unit which also involved painting, drilling and sawing. During the act run-throughs, I was required to call the cast backstage when it was almost their turn to come on stage. My stage management team and I also created a small props table so that some of the props could be rehearsed with at this stage. The get-in stage was scheduled to last two days, but due to the lack of help, having to wait and still sharing the space, we had to include many unscheduled late nights. Here is a montage of what we got up to. <laughs> Bonkers. Bonk, 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 bonkers. Before each show we were required to sweep, hoover and mop the floor in order that it was safe for the actors to dance on. Pre-show checks were also in order to ensure everything was preset for the opening of each show. During the show I was queuing the set changes, some cast members and occasionally sound effects, as well as the LX cues by following my script and using the voice comm system. I also had to constantly be resolving issues on the spot which couldn't be prepared for and most importantly ensuring everyone was safe and happy. I used a show relay system to see the stage as I was unable to see it from where I was sat in prompt corner. We also set up a large props table in which we organised and labelled scene by scene to ensure all props were returned by the cast and to easily find them during the show as it was based backstage where the other backstage departments were. Before the show and during the interval I helped to preset props in the correct places and give them to the correct cast members. 
During the show, it was my ASM's job to continue with this. I just had to ensure that they had them prepared. During the get out for my department, it was all about taking away the set and putting props back from where they originally came from. Each department mostly focused on their own equipment, but chipped in every now and then to give others a hand. General tidying was also in action. Eventually, we said goodbye to another successful show.